Hi y'all, Karma here. Another great day here in Colorado. Oh, so heavenly here. I can't wait to show you some of the things that are around me and share with you the beauty of the nature that's here. So I'm trying to get caught up on the boxes and once I get caught up on the boxes then I have the Sedona video that I know some of you have been waiting for and then the Colorado, the move to Colorado video coming up as well. So lots of exciting things and I'm hoping to get a drone soon. So abundance come my way so that I can get a drone so that I can show you beautiful overhead coverage of the San Juan Forest National Forest that I live on the edge of. So today we're going to be opening Wolf and Time. And Wolf and Time comes in a plain box but the things that are in it are anything but plain. And um, I really appreciate that Wolf and Time sent me out this box to review for you. Wolf and Time's a monthly subscription curated with five self-care and magical items to help you connect to nature yourself and the path of the moon. Expect things like rituals, oracle cards, crystals, original artwork, spiritual tools, holistic care, and more. The box is $28 a month plus shipping, but if you order more than one month at a time, there are price breaks there. There. and Wolf and Time has been kind enough to give us a Karma 15 code for anything that you order and in the video description I have put the links to all the boxes they have not just the Wolf and Time. Let's review what we got in last month's box before we start this month's box. In last month's box the theme was crafting cruising cuisine crafting cuisine and there was the 5x7 original artwork color print of refiner's fire by Kat she does all of the artwork for this as well as so much of the other things in the box um, there was a kitchen cleansing ritual kit which I have not used yet but I plan on using in my Colorado home and I'm super excited to do that the hand-painted sauce dish um, which was in there as well as the hand-painted kitchen towel. So like I said, she does so much of the things that are in the box. There was a gorgeous fire quartz palm stone that was just amazing, really a premium palm stone that was absolutely beautiful. And um, it's really nice to have it for the month of June since we're at summer solstice and fire and sun, you know, those elements are um, at the top of my practice right now. So that's what was in last month's box. Let's see what we got in this month's box. And I don't have, I don't remember what the theme is. Whoops, open it the wrong way. So when you open the box, got your little tissue paper. Oh, here's our two incense sticks that are popping out. You've got a letter that describes everything, the artwork, and then down inside the box, you've got everything else tucked down in there as well. So, since I grabbed those incense sticks, let me make sure they stay safe. I really like that she just sends two incense sticks because I'm not super big on incense sticks. And yet hers seem to have the most subtle, beautiful energies to them. Oh, let's look at the little letter. And they always do these on seed paper. So if you don't want to keep them, I do keep them, but at some point I'll get rid of the older ones. So you can just soak this paper in water and then put it in soil and lightly dust over it and you'll have beautiful seeds to sprout with your intentions. Ocean creation is the theme for this month's Wolf and Time box. The ocean is not only healing because of its relaxing rhythmic waves, but also because of the energy it carries from the very life that lives within it. The water is our way of connecting to that source as a conduit to recharge our souls and ease our minds. So, and remember, the Wolf and Time and the Luna Lux box, which I'll be opening in a video next, um, have the same theme. But remember, when I did the video comparing both boxes, you can get both boxes. Nothing is the same in either box except for the theme. So it really just gives you a plethora of items to be able to utilize during that month in your practice. And then it has all the things that are in there that I will read as we pull out of the box. So let's go ahead and pull out the two incense sticks. Mmm, kind of perfumey for me. 
a little bit too perfumey for me. Hmm. Those will probably go in a giveaway box. I'm really particular about my smells, and that one's just a little bit too strong. Although, sometimes when you get incense sticks like that that are a little bit too strong for you, you can set them in something and, and just let them be aromatic in the room without burning them, and that will give that nice scent to the air, but not be too overpowering. So her artwork and in the new house, I have a library that I'm putting all my apothecary stuff, so my herbs, my tinctures, and oils, and then I also have a crystallarium there with all my crystals, and then all my decks, and dispersed throughout, I've now got Kat's pictures all over, and I'm probably also going to be doing a wall with her artwork as I continue to collect more. So this is looks like a starfish, so pretty. And her artwork is amazing. And you can go to her website and she does a time lapse of her doing the paintings. But look at the detail in it. And Kat really does magical things with her paintings and really sets them up as a magical ritual as she paints them. So, original artwork, 5x7 watercolor print. Ocean Star is an original watercolor print I made with a shamanic ritual for creation, protection, and elemental source. The sea star represents the pentacle with its five points, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit, while adding a barrier from negative energy to keep you safe. It's encircled by seaweed. We, just as we put a circle around ourselves as a boundary for protection. The ocean is a place where creation of life begins, water being essential to all living things and our planet. It's what we're mostly made of and bonds us to the pull of the moon. Let your ocean star help you vibrate to the sea's energy and remind you of the power of water. Watch your painting come to life on the YouTube video on the Luna Loft channel so you can connect to it more of your artwork. So the Luna Loft is where she has that. But this is amazing just as a piece of artwork. I can do a full meditation just using this as a focal point to try and connect to water and to life. That is gorgeous. Oh, okay. Then we have something wrapped in some tissue paper. And she does say on the bottom, okay, never mind. Ooh. Oh, wow. So it's an abalone, but it looks like it's polished. Look how beautiful. Look at the inside. All polished like a pearl. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't know which side's prettier. This side? This side? I don't know. Polished black pearl shell. This delicate shell has been brought to you by the sea and polished to show its deep, brilliant colors. It houses the black pearl and brings with it healing for wounded hearts, protection from negative energy, and gives you hope. It's blank, so you can carve into it a sigil, a rune, or a special symbol to help you to connect to it. Use it to place magical jewelry, a candle, salt, or any other use that connects you to the raw energy from the ocean. This would be great to even do some moon water in. You could put the moon water in there. But how nice is that? I mean, you can do your sigil right there inside it, and you could write it with some, you know, you could carve it in, or sometimes I like just using the beautiful felt tip markers. I know that felt tip um, gets away from some of the natural energies because it's more of a commercial type of a print, but you could also use paint and do it with paint. And um, if you want to keep it natural and you want to use paint, then get some raw pigments and make your paint with raw pigments. And that way you could maybe even look at a stone that you wanted to enhance it with, get some raw pigment uh, of that stone or an herb, and then use that as the paint to paint your sigil on there. That's gorgeous. Okay. Then we have looks like our little DIY kind of kit. So it's got a bag with some different items in it. 
and she always has the little ritual written down here and her rituals are so amazing they're very simple yet very powerful and pure and I like things that are more simple oh wow so I pulled out the big things but there's also a lot of little things here in the bottom looks like some different gem or some seashells yeah, a bunch of different little seashells in there. And then there's also a little gem in there of a little sea turtle. Oh, he's cute. Let me get him out and show him to you. So here's the little gem of the sea turtle. Isn't he cute? <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, put him on the shelf. Then we have, ooh, this looks like maybe an angel or an aura quartz. It has all the different colors shining through. I don't know if I'm going to pick them up well on the camera, though. But you've got all of those kind of a rainbow colory showing through. They're not really showing on the camera, though. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can catch a little bit of it there. Not catching too much of it on the camera, but in real life, you can really see it. And it's gorgeous. Look at all these little points on the side. Look at that. Oh, now you can see them better. Isn't that a cool piece of quartz? Oh, that's awesome. Then you've got a blue tea light candle in here. And it does have scent. Oh, it smells like the water. It smells like the ocean. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. And it smells like the breeze coming off an ocean. And then you've got a whole big thing that looks like salts with herbs in it. Nice big container. And I love that because you know I love my baths and so doing salt baths. Now, because this has herbs in it, some of the best things to do is get the reusable muslin bags, pour it into the muslin bag, throw it into your bath, because the salts and everything will dissolve through the bag, and then you'll be left with the herbs, and then I just take it and squish the herbs to really get it, all the aroma out of it, and sometimes the color, and then I'll take it and I'll, you know, just kind of take the water and squish the bag over me as I visualize whatever I'm trying to accomplish for the purification or protection bath or whatever it is. And then it says here, ocean creation visual, vision ritual. Needed ritual bath salt, sea salt candle, charm and spells, or it, so it's an aura quartz, aura quartz crystal, three blue lace agate crystals, a small blue bag and myrrh resin. So, oh, maybe some of those in there is myrrh. You've got the shells and then some myrrh resin. Um, this can be done with a foot bath or a shower if you want to. And then she goes through and tells you how to perform this ritual. In case you want to pause it. And I love reading her stuff, so here's the verse in it. As the ocean waves over me, cleanse away all negativity, enhance my vision and creative light, open up my enlightened sight. So, ah, I love, I mean, having just a couple of these to do from her boxes each month is so amazing to me. So let's see what it says about this. Sea Salt Bath Ritual Quit Kit by Wolf and Time. This special Blah, bath. This special bath ritual can be used in your bathtub, in a foot bath, or in a shower. It has all the elements you need to create a ritual for ocean creation vision. It will help you feel nurtured, give you sight, and bring messages and creative inspiration to your dreams. It is handmade and infused with energy and goddess love from the sea. It is best done right before you go to sleep. And then it gives you the different things so it has the ritual scroll the aura quartz crystal which i just keep hanging on to because it's, oh, it's so delightful uh, sea salt scented blue tea light candle um, ocean charm uh, seashells myrrh resin incense so those are all the things that are in there 
along with the items we just read. And, oh, the sea salts. I'm like, there was something more in this bag. Okay, still a little bit more. Two more things. Make sure I got everything. I've done that before where there was like an incense stick or something hiding that I couldn't find. So, and then here are your tumbled blue lace agates. Ooh, nice size. Really pretty. So let me see, I'll show you one closer up. Blue lace agates have such a nice energy to them. Really pretty. And those are three good sized chunks. Um, tumbled blue lace agates, three. Element water, chakra throat, focus, communication, clarity, and confidence. Your three crystals are part of your ocean creation vision bath ritual, as well as the small bag they come in. They teach us that our words create our reality and can be a reflection of our higher self. It helps in meditation with guiding you and receiving information and messages. It helps soothe and calm you so that you can see clearly your truth with knowledge and understanding. It helps you shift your inner voice to a positive affirmation, brings you wisdom and support, supports you in creating a manifested life. Very nice. These three go in the bag and that is part of our ritual. And last but not least, we have a little gold box. Wow, look at how gorgeous it's packaged too. So it's sitting there inside the moss. And look at this. Wow. Get it untangled. Look at that. Oh, and it's got the little wreath almost like on the painting. That is gorgeous. Look at that. So it's got the wreath there. Not holding it very well, huh? And then look at that pearl. if I can get it to focus a little bit better. There you go. Oh, that is so dainty and so pretty. And you know, with the sea, it can be raging, but it also has that dainty quality about it. It makes beautiful dainty things like pearls. Wow. Gold pearl necklace. Your beautiful pearl necklace is a double chain and is gold plated over copper. It holds a precious little white pearl in its shell and has a second chain with the design of seaweed. The pearl is a magical element and created from the flaw in the shell. It is the product of the mollusk healing itself from an intrusion of a foreign object. It represents transformation, healing, the moon, and any goddess associated with her phases and the sea. They are also associated with wisdom and are the birthstone of anyone in June. That is just precious. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow. And I love that it's copper plated in gold because copper has its own properties that make it special as well. Wow. And it does say, she always ends in love and respect to your magical soul cat. It says, uh, next month's theme, July, is sacred breath, air magic, and capturing the breath of nature. So in this month's box, we received the sea and salt bath ritual kit, the polished black pearl shell, the gold pearl necklace, the original artwork with the watercolor print, three tumbled blue agate stones, 
and the two incense sticks. What an amazing box, y'all. Let me know in the comments below, do you get this box? And if so, what are your plans in using it this month as part of your rituals and your magical growth? I hope that if you haven't already, you'll hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up on this video and come and visit me often to the channel where you can say, Karma's my friend. Bye, y'all.